Hello, my ladies. It's Susan Davis, Prairie Girl Lifestyle. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I really do. This video is inspired by Natalie, the beauty diva. Natalie, thank you. I've been watching your videos lately. Your Get Ready With Me videos. Love them. Love them. If you don't know Natalie the Beauty Diva, go over, watch her channel. She is the pro of makeup application. Flawless makeup application. And I've been watching her Get Ready With Me videos, totally getting inspired, and that's why I did this video today. It's all because of Natalie's application methods. I've used all of those to set my makeup. OMG, I'm loving my makeup right now, Natalie. Look at this. I look flawless. So if you want to see how I've applied this makeup using Natalie's techniques, then you need to watch this video. Now, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you want to click on the little bell below, you'll get notified when I do upload a new video. And thank you very much to my subscribers. I love you all so much. I went over the 500 mark. I'm so excited. Over 500 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I'm going to have to have a little giveaway of some sort. Um, I guess when I reach 1,000, that's what we'll do. We'll do a little giveaway of some sort. Probably, you know, Mary Kay makeup. Okay? All right. Let's get on with this video tutorial. Okay, so, okay, let's just jump right in. To start with, we're going to prime our face. I'm using the Mary Kay Face Primer. I've already done all my morning skincare routine, just to let you know. So, here we go. How was your 4th of July, ladies? Hopefully you had some family time or downtime, whatever you might have required. Ron and I went to see the fireworks. I showed that in a previous video. Um, yeah, we had a nice time. Now I'm going to use the Mary Kay Eye Primer. This just comes in a little tube. So. Put some on my finger and pat that up here on my eyes. What I have left over, I'm going to put down here. Okay, next step under eye corrector. This is the peach colored corrector that you see a lot of uh, brands have. This is the Mary Kay brand. It's really good for uh, disguising blue if you have a lot of blue around your eyes or veins. Um, I really don't have that. Maybe I do here a little. Not really, but I do like to use this under my eyes. And I like to pat it in with a beauty sponge. You can also use a small eyebrow brush to pounce that in. That's another effective way to get that product down. Okay. Okay, next step, foundation. I'm using the Mary Kay Liquid Foundation. This is their Luminous Formula. And it's beige four is the color. Comes in a tube, I just squirt it out, put it on my face. And then today, instead of using a brush, I'm using a damp beauty blender sponge 
to pat that in. Got this idea from Natalie again. We're following Natalie's ways of putting on her makeup because she's so inspiring. You know, I want to be just like her. She just has flawless makeup application. And isn't that the beauty of YouTube? We can all learn from each other, try new things that we've never done before. That's fun. I'm putting it on my eyes. I'm putting it everywhere. So this is, you know, a new application for me because normally I wouldn't put it here and here. But we're going to try a new thing. And then I always look in my magnification mirror because I can see if I've missed any spots, which I did. So I went back in and blended that. I will say, using this beauty sponge, already I can tell, you know, I have no brush marks on my face, which I will have some brush marks when I use a brush, which always get co covered over with, you know, the rest of my makeup application, but just note, that's my note right there, no brush marks. Next step, my light ivory concealer, Mary Kay. This is, uh, yeah, light ivory. And I do like to apply this to my eyes. So I have that on my eyes, but now we're going to try the highlighting of our face with this, like I saw Natalie do. So I do have a mirror right here. I need to look in, so we're going to put some up here, down our nose, some right here, down our folds here, and a little on our chin. Back to our beauty blender and blend that in. And one thing I've learned, one thing I've learned from watching Natalie, just keep pouncing this in. Get it into your skin really well. I tend to want to just, you know, boop, 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 and that's it. But if you watch Natalie, she really spends some time getting this into her skin. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender on my eyes, which I usually don't do. Usually I use my fingers, but we're going to try this. Okay. Okay. Now we're going in with uh, translucent powder. My translucent powder, I'm going to use a makeup sponge. I'm going to set the under eye area now with this. And then we're going to really load this sponge up and apply it right here on this side of our eye. is what Natalie does uh, before putting on our eyeshadow. This will catch any fallout of our eyeshadows. Okay, we're ready for eyeshadow. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see better. So today I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. Let's do another eye look with this. I'm loving this little palette. There's the colors. I'm going with a fluffy eye brush and I'm going to go into this first color, the lightest color here, which is called Inhale. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. 
I'm going to put this all over my lid in my upper eye area. I have a nice light base to work with. Now with the same brush I'm going into that second color, this one here called Vibrate. And we're going to just apply that to the upper lid and into the crease. Start building this color up. Just a real light tannish color. No, I would this is just like a beige color, light beige. We're gonna stick with the same brush and go into this orange color. Right there, right in the middle. What's that called? It's called Wild Thing. Same brush. Tap it off. And let's swirl some of that color up there. I noticed that tap off uh, Natalie uses a swirling motion to get that color up there and I will say that really does work nice it just kind of blends that color up there thank you Natalie I think I got a new way of putting on my eyeshadow because normally you know I'm back and forth and back and forth but look how that married that color up there so nice. It's just a nice blend. Yeah, that looks good. I like it. Okay, let's take it up a notch. Let's go into the darker orange right here. And that is called Heist. Yeah, Heist. And now I've got a crease brush. And we're going to tap that color off and we're going to put this in our crease. <laughs> I'm just tapping that right in my crease. Just going to bump that color up just a little bit right there. Let's go back with that big fluffy blending brush and do our circular motion see what that does. There we go. Very nice blending technique. I like that. Okay, let's go back into this wild thing color, this orange color here, with our crease brush. And let's bump up the color, tap off, in this crease. I'm just going to do the outer edge. And I'm going to do a reverse 7 here. side just from the center to the corner tap off and reverse seven no that's not my term that is Nisha's term I don't claim it it's not mine let's go back in with our fluffy brush and do the our little circular blending on that new color we just added. Okay, there we have it. Okay, now, flat, thin brush. We're going back in with the orange. Wild thing. And we're going to apply this, tap off, to our lid. Okay, then I'm going back into this lightest color inhale with the same stiff brush. This does have just a little bit of shimmer on it, but I'm going to put it right underneath my brows to lighten up that area. Okay. 
Okay, next step, we're going to line our upper lid with a black eyeliner. I'm using the Liquid Eyeliner by Mary Kay. I'll have to do this in my magnification mirror, so uh, stay right there. I'll be right back. I'm back. I'll tell you what, there's my black eyeliner. And if you want to really get detailed on your eyeliner and your detail work on your eyes, get you a magnification mirror. Um, I use a 10 time magnification mirror to do that detail work. Makes a huge difference. Because I can't see. <laughs> and so that really helps. Okay, next step. Let's take a smudge brush like that. And let's go into some of these same colors in this palette and put that down underneath our eye. I will start with this color here in the middle. It's called Hot Spell. It's this color right here. With my, smu with my smudge brush, tap it in that color, tap off, and just brush some of that onto my lower lid. Okay, let's go with the next color, this orange color, Wild Thing. Do the same thing, smudge brush. We'll go with the next color, Heist. Same brush. Same, same technique under the eye, but let's keep it from the center of the eye up. We're going with a darker color, so let's keep it over here on the edge. And let's meet it right here in the corners with our top color. Let's go with the last color in this palette, Strike. Same brush. I'm just going to tap it right here in the corner of my eye and just smudge it right there in the corner. And bring it up just a little bit right into there. Another eyeshadow brush, a clean one. I'm just going to run that underneath here to blend all that. Okay, we're done with our eye color. I'm going to go with my big fluffy face brush and wipe off this excess translucent powder now. We're done with our eyes, so we don't need that on there anymore. Okay, let's do some contouring. That's, look That's like. the next step. I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, contour. This is a matte. The color is good for me. It comes with a nice brush. So I'm going to load that brush up and contour my cheek right here and up my temple. Same on this side. Just right here. up here on my forehead. On my jawline. To create the illusion that I have a jawline, yes. Everything is sagging. So if we put a dark color under here, it kind of, you know, Makes it look better, I guess. That's what we think. Add as much of this as you want. Now you could use a liquid contour stick. That would work as well. I'm taking my big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that a little.
If you wanted to add some of that contour to the sides of your nose, just take a small eye brush and run it up on the side of your nose. You can put some right here in the corners just to give your face dimension, which is what we're trying to do. I'm going to follow that up with my bronzer, my Mary Kay bronzer. I love this bronzer. It's my favorite. Um, it's a light bronze color. It's got a very little bit of shimmer. But it just really gives a nice bronzed look to your face. I'm just going to go over my whole face with this. Add a little more to the cheek area. Okay. Let's put on some blush. Today I'm going to use the Stilla palette for that. This is, I've had this a long time and I really like this palette. It's the Perfect Me, Perfect Hue palette. There's the colors in it. And you can see I've used it a lot. Really makes a nice eye look. It has a highlighter, two blushes. Um, I use this for contouring, you know. I also use these colors on my eyes. So it's a really versatile little palette. Uh, really nice for travel. So I'm going to use those two colors on my cheeks. I'm going to go with my cheek brush right here. I'm going to go into that darkest color first and just lay a little of that dark color right underneath my cheekbone just a little more warm contouring and then follow that up with that really punchy pink right on the, the apples of my cheeks just pounce that on for a little color and then we're going to highlight and for highlighting I have this uh, still a highlighter which I love I love this. I don't use it very often, but for special occasions it's nice. It's called Heaven's Hue Highlighter, and I got the bronze color. Here it is. This is really nice on aged skin. If you've got crepey skin like mine, you know, we have to be careful with a highlighter because this under eye area is wrinkly, crepey, but if I just put a little of this right here, very lightly. Let's see if you can see that shine on my cheek. I don't want to overdo it, but I really, really like this and it comes in different colors. Okay, now we're going to set all this makeup down with a powder and we're going to use a beauty blender to really pounce in this powder. So I'm going to do this a little different. Um, instead of just using translucent powder, which gives me more of a white ivory look, I'm going to mix it with my mineral powder. This is Mary Kay mineral powder in uh, beige 1.5. So let's just do that. Let's just use them both. I have them here in my lid. And I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and put it in both colors and start pouncing this into my skin.
again, take your time getting this powder down into your skin. Really pounce it on. Get it down in there so it's married down into your skin. And the dampness of the Beauty Blender, that's what really gets it in there. Melds it, you know, so it's not all powdery and cakey. And then I'll follow that up with a little brush like that in my, just my translucent powder now. And put that under my eyes here. Just to set that area. We're ready to do a finishing spray and I'm using the Mary Kay finishing spray. Just gonna spray that on my face. And that again just marries everything together, lays it down on your skin, sets it. Um, if you look at a 10 time magnification mirror after you've done that step, you will see the difference. Okay, what's left? Eyebrows, mascara, lips. I'm gonna go do my eyebrows off camera. I am going to use my little Too Faced Brow Envy palette to do my brows. And my mascara is going to be the Ultimate Mascara by Mary Kay. I love this mascara, it's a really nice overall mascara it gives you length and a little volume so but i'm going to do that in my magnification mirror okay i'm back i'll be right back surprise i got my wig on <laughs> oh my gosh this is the raquel welch upstage wig in bronzed sable is the color so anyway i have my brows are done my brows are done uh, I put on mascara and a lip color. And the lip color I chose today was one of my favorites. It's a Mary Kay. This is our new formula. Um, it's a gel formula and it's a semi shine. It's a, it's a semi matte, I should say, with a shine to it. And this is called Sunset Peach. So that really goes with the color on our eyes today. All peachies. And so then I thought, yeah, so yes, let's put on a wig and some nice earrings and we are set to go. I hope this tutorial has inspired you to play with your makeup and try some new things because that's the inspiration I got from watching Natalie and that's what inspired me to do this look. And I will say, using her techniques, uh, wow look at how that makeup looks it just looks flawless yay uh, i'm still getting used to this wig let me do a little spin for you the last time i wore this upstage wig i was not comfortable in it uh, i think because i had it pulled back more off my face and I just felt like everybody knew I had a wig on because of the lace front. Um, because it doesn't look anything like my, my natural hairline. And it just was kind of really bothering me. I, I just felt really uncomfortable uh, wearing it back off my face like that. So, not that, I mean, people know I got short hair. So, But, you know, wearing a wig, it takes a while to get used to the idea of it. Um getting over the um, fear factor, the embarrassment factor that you have a wig on. So I find that if I put these bangs down and you know wear this wig more like that and cover up that lace front, I feel uh, not so scared to wear it. Yep. So it does, uh, you know, the hair on this wig is very much like my natural hair and that's the reason I bought the wig. It's a lot more hair than what I have, but as far as the straightness and the look of it, it's very similar to my natural hair when I have it, you know, this length. So this is how I'm trying to grow my hair out now is to get it down to this length again. Um, but I love this wig. I love my Raquel Welch wigs. It's just a process of learning to wear them out in the public and getting used to the idea of having the wig on 
and not be fearful of what people are thinking. Um, yeah, it, it takes time. It does take time. Hey gals, now take a look at this. I just had to throw this in here. I have been out on my farm tractor, on my farm with a mower, mowing pastures and ditches in 85 degree weather with that hot engine air blowing on me, dusty, dirty environment. I was out there for three hours. I came back in and look at my makeup. Natalie talks about how when you apply the makeup the way she does, the staying power that you get from it and that it just, she says it stays right there. It's not going to go anywhere all day long. And I can attest to that. This has got to be the biggest uh, test of all going out and uh, mowing my pastures. So I just had to show this to you. I'm ecstatic. I love it. I'm going to be trying this and applying my makeup this way from now on. So, hey, there you go. There's the proof. So that's it for this tutorial, ladies. I hope you've enjoyed it. All right, ladies, go out and make it a great day. If you're not having a great day, turn it around right now and make it a great day. Go out and fill somebody's bucket up. Spread the messages, positive, love. That's what we're here for. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your time. And I'll see you in the next video.